Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three at bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that problem. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of this belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. This is Herb Dean is our referee tonight. All right, well, the haircut has changed a little bit, but same MMA game overall for the UFC light heavyweight champion, Yuri Prohaska. Let us see DC how he approaches the early portions of this round. Certainly figures to have the striking advantage and talked a lot to us this week about getting his kicking game going, so we'll see if he can get that to rear its ugly head here early in this one. Caught that kick there. And now some separation. Early connection with the left from the champ. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous for Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw it. Your mistake, and he always capitalizes on it. Oh! I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Inside leg kick is there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big power shot there. Out of range with that one. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Man, his counter's on point tonight. The jab is good. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. 
drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like his approach. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Straight right is there. Nice punch to the head. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Prohaska gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Nice punch lands over the top. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go. Well, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Less than a minute to go in the round. about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. Lead punch. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Slip that one. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Final seconds here. He got that leg up quick. Beautiful head kick lands. Oh, Outstanding round and another five minutes coming up. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? All Do right, it. second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Prohaska gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Beautiful straight right hand. Great block there. Trading clean shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, he lands another. 
debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Takedown defense holds up. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is held on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high level, high No denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Prohaska's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, big elbow. <laughs> Unable to land with that punch. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Ten seconds to go in the round. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now, but in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. Oh, misses with the jab. Rip the body there. Strike there as he continues to attack that cut. The cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut man in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. With both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. 
Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Prohaska's eye is closing up. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Three minutes to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Well, he is really. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh. With two minutes in. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's got to try to finish here. Oh! Straight right hand now just misses. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse. Oh, man! Finish, finish, finish. Prohaska gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. That leg kick lands. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick. This Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there. And no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he kills liver kick. That might do it. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Lee's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. 15 seconds. Nice punch there by Lee. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, the of his body. Oh, oh, he's hurt, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. Oh! 
big punch lands through the middle. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. Just to walk through a wall, he needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. There it is again. Look at that. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Prohaska's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. What a kick. That one landed. Sidekick now. Prohaska's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. Oh! Prohaska's... Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. It's been a crazy fight. Good kick. Lee's eye is closing up. Nice shot there by the champ. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Busy off of his back, lands a beautiful strike from the ball. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Crowd, oh. after party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John.